So now, once you have a classification assigned, we could also sort them based on the classification and arrange our pages. Um, instead of going from left to right or right uh, top to bottom or based on any nominal value, we can first take all my points on the front of the door and assign them to and create n number of pages then go to zone number two, which is the rear of the door and create n number of pages based on how many other charts it can fit on and then do that, do the same for the window. So this would allow you to keep your charts that belong to a certain zone or certain classification all together in your template. If you have a hundred page template, the points are not scattered all over. They are all kept in concatenated graph pages so that uh, anything that belongs to the rear is the first 10 pages, the next 10 pages, the front, and then the last 10 pages is the is the points in the window. So to be able, once you have classified the points, we can group them and keep them together and lay out. There is a wizard that we have added to make this happen by just one button click. And that's this topic of classification based sorting. So I'm going to go back to the software. We've just done this part of creating the classification and all my points are on uh, page one. We have three classifications. Now I'm going to go to my sort data, going to tell there are um, 10 charts per page. Uh, I'm going to use this sort data by classification wizard. This is the method I'm going to use for sorting. Uh, and I would also like to create an index page for each classification. Now I would like to create a separate index page for my uh, front points, a separate index page for my rear points, and a separate index page for my window points. I could keep all of them in the same index page, or if I choose this checkbox, it would automatically create those three index pages. Not only sort the data, but also uh, create the index pages. So with this setting, it's going to take it's, it's going to put 10 charts per page based on the chart size that automatically came up with this number that it can put 10 charts. Um, so 10 charts per page, it's going to, but keep them in groups of front, rear, and window points. So I'm going to do this. At this stage, what it had done is it has took the points and distributed them into multiple pages. Each page has got about 10 charts, still not fully laid out, but at least it grouped and sorted them. This is the activity of distribution the charts to different pages and creating new pages. So right now at this time, it has created 30 pages. Um, the first 10 for window, and then they got some rear points and then some window points. So now what we're going to do is um, uh, ergonomically place them so I can complete my report. That's my last step. So I'm going to go to ergo place where I could ergonomically place all my charts around the graph and create a, a, a nice layout without and let the system automatically take care of it. So I'm going to leave the charts on both sides, auto size my viewport, auto scale my viewport and do this for all pages. At this step, it's going to walk through each one of the pages, clean up the pages, move the CAD to the center, the charts around and create a completed report. So it completed the report now. It took all my points and sorted them to, so these are my points in the front. If you look in the top, uh, in the middle of the banner, it says that's the front, all my points that belong to the front. Now we're gonna go to the pages that contain the points on the rear. And then once uh, those 10 pages of the rear and then now we are going to go into the window and if you look at it we colored the window points so they they're showing up in a cyan color so um so this way we have created a completed report based on classification just by those six steps um and we have created an index page for all my front points an index page all for all my rear points and a separate index page for all my window points and then followed by a number of graph pages. So this is the um, enhancement to not only create classifications, but use that classifications to sort and create your report. And each page, of course, as you know, you could go and, uh, you know, do different uh, things. If I want to zoom in the window, I mean, it's all 3D. So every page you can enhance the layout. It's point and click, drag and drop, and you can set up your own pages. 
but the ability to automatically create these templates and get a get a decent report out with just automated uh, button clicks uh, is what this enhancement is about. So I'm going to jump back to the PowerPoint again. So we looked at how we can use the sort data by classification wizard and uh, create a template uh, based on class classified points.